Right now, California lawmakers have about three days to pass new laws for the year. The deadline is Saturday at midnight. Lawmakers today sent Governor Newsom a bill that would allow undocumented people to apply for the state's first time home buyers program. Governor Newsom just vetoed a bill that would have helped some undocumented migrants buy homes in the state. The bill by a Democratic Assembly member from Fresno would have stopped the disqualification of loan applicants to the state's first time home buyer program for reasons based solely on immigration status. Yeah, what's goody? Wavy. Friday, I, I got home and edited a video I previously recorded a day or two before about what's going on in California, AB 1840, where they were trying to help out these illegal immigrants, migrants, illegal aliens, whatever you want to call them, Resi legal residents, refugees. If it's your first time, welcome. Other than that, welcome back. Hope you're having an amazing day, starting the week off right. Whatever they're trying to classify them as now, California was looking to assist them with up to $150,000 towards buying their own properties. Regardless of their status, regardless of how they got into the country, whether legally or illegally, whether they skipped the line or waited in line, they're looking to allow these people that apply to the system to be funded by taxpayer dollars. And my thing, before I get too deep, let's back up. Gavin Newsom, I cannot figure this governor out. I really can't. I, is he the worst in the country? He's got to be at least top two or three. I think he takes the cake. And then I put Governor Hochul and what's going on there in New York, but that's a whole different other story. Newsom has allowed popular tourist destinations in California to be terrorized. Whether it's San Francisco, it's LA, certain parts of Beverly Hills that are broken into and stuff like that. You can't even go to Oakland. You know what I'm saying? He allows this to take place, allowing the homeless encampment on Skid Row and throughout various places in the city. And then now, after allowing it for three and a half years, all of a sudden, he's out there uh, trying to clean up the city or saying that he's going to end the homeless encampment. I thought Gavin Newsom was having a cleanup in California, cleaning up the homeless tents. Well, I guess he didn't want to have a cleanup in his hometown of San Francisco. He didn't want to move his friends. But my reason is why. Is it because the Olympics are going to be hosted in L.A. in 2028? So he's trying to change the image of the city, have them crack down on crime, which he was a big part of them defunding the police, a big part of them being understaffed and underfinanced. Criminals know certain cities within his state are a safe haven for them. Newsom vetoes bill to make immigrants without legal status eligible for home loans in California. I don't even know why this was even a thing in California or why this is a thing anywhere. Okay, people don't want to help out Americans. Even right now in the state of California, there's people in Gen Z, millennials, Gen X, maybe even boomers that can't afford to buy a home. Is there any special loan made for them? Already they've allocated millions of dollars towards this funding, which is not even in their budget. They can't afford it. They're willing to give these people who are here illegally housing over American citizens. And I don't get that. People that even waited in line, people that are maybe even in the country legally and they're not a U.S. citizen, they've waited in line. What about them? But I will give Governor Newsom some credit. All right, I think that he got this one right. In the last couple of weeks, I've been getting so many calls. Lizbeth Alarcón is a Bay Area realtor who often helps undocumented immigrants buy their dream homes. She says some of her clients were excited about Assembly Bill 1840. They were waiting and um, hoping that this would kind of help them get, you know, their their home, finally. People like her is what has a lot of these major cities crumbling. Her as a realtor and also these people that are put in these departments for like homelessness and all that because they are incentivized to keep people homeless. One, the government people. Her, she's just taking the, she understands that these people gonna have the funding. She doesn't care who they are, where they from, as long as she's going to get paid as a realtor, she's willing to move them in right next door to whoever, somebody's auntie, someone's granny, uh, a single mother. Is there some sort of proper vetting going on? Do they know who all of these illegals are? Okay, because this was this program wanted to stretch outside of people here legally, all right? Immigrants here legally. It wanted to stretch as far as illegals, undocumented. So how do we know who's moving in next door to these people? 
But because she's getting her commission, she could care less. In his veto message, he said in part, quote, given the finite funding available for Cali HFA programs, expanding program eligibility must be carefully considered within the broadened context of the annual state budget to ensure we manage our resources effectively. And I wasn't sure exactly how they're going to fund this. California has one of the worst housing markets right now. I right? go on Zillow, see what you won't get in some of these areas. The state brings in a lot of money, but the state is broke. I right? people are leaving California for other states, states with a lot less tax penalties. They never had the money to cover this and they knew it. He didn't have to carefully uh, consider and examine everything. He knew that his it wasn't within his state's budget. Assembly member Joaquin Arambula from Fresno County wrote the bill and said in a statement he's deeply disappointed, adding that, quote, I have always believed this bill is about fairness. The veto doesn't change the fact that many people, including undocumented immigrants, dream of owning a home so that generational wealth can be passed to their children children. I understand that they want to pass wealth on to their kids as everybody does. I, everybody that's in America or has come to America wants to pass on some sort of wealth to their kids or at least most people. My thing is as an American, can we go to Canada or Mexico or China or North Korea or any of these places? Can we go there? Even Russia. Can we go there not getting into the country legally and have any sort of buying power? You think that they standing for that? Meanwhile, we have actual members in government that are pushing for these people to have uh, some sort of buying power. But I bet if an American applied for an FHA, the government would look at every reason not to give them the loan, not to approve it. But they're looking for every reason to give these people it because they deserve to have the American dream and, and, and pass on wealth to their children. So Americans don't deserve that. We deserve to be taxed till, till we don't have enough to give our children anything. Meanwhile, these people get free whatever they want. But kids in Detroit got schools closed and left and right. Kids in Chicago got schools closed and left and right because they don't have enough taxpayer dollars. But we got enough taxpayer dollars for these people. Each and every family that comes to this country, we welcome you with a visa with endless amounts of money on it funded by the taxpayers, right? This comes a day after former President Trump vowed, if elected, to ban mortgages for undocumented immigrants in California. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. And to help get this video out to even more people goes a far way. If you like, drop a comment, join in on the conversation. Let me know what you're thinking about all this. Governor Newsom vetoing the bill that would have potentially uh, helped illegal immigrants, regardless of status, to acquire a home with loans up to $150,000 and or helping with closing costs. Do you think he should have passed the bill? Do you think that it made it that far, it made it through its assembly, made it all the way up the chains of command that it had to, and it got to his bill, and he's the one that doesn't sign it? And what does this mean for his bid as president in the future? And this could end up hurting him with a lot of his constituents, because probably a good percentage of them are homeless and illegals. But maybe with a little bit of budgeting and tweaking, they could have it back on his desk where he'll be able to sign into approval. Or do you think... Governor Newsom doesn't get many things right, but this one he got right. I right, this should have never made it to his desk. I right, I'm tired of all these politicians trying to get more rights for these illegals than for Americans. We got people in poverty. We got people that are homeless. We got veterans. We got a lot of people that could fit into a, a bracket of people that need assistance. The elderly, all of them. Instead of these people coming in here, millions and millions, we're not sure how many, they're saying 10 million. If you ask me, I say it's closer to 50 million. Taxpayers are already being burdened with how much we have to fund these people's lifestyle. Now they're going to ask for even more money in California, but who knows, this could set the model for across the, the country. So much more I could say on this, but I hope the people in California understand what's going on and vote accordingly. And then the people that have left California due to the bad policy in California, hopefully wherever you move to, you're not taking the same bad policies and changing those red places purple and eventually blue. Either way, interested to know whatever you're thinking about this, whether you for the bill being vetoed, whether you're against it and wanted the bill to pass because you understand that everybody that comes to America deserves a piece of the American pie. I'm interested to know whatever you're thinking. Till the next video, y'all be safe and stay wavy.